Check out our shirt on Teespring. Hey folks, what's happening? What's going on in the world? Look, curious not to know. See, today I'm going to talk about Asteroid City. It came out in 2023. I did this at the movie theaters. Of course, I go see this movie because uh, Wes Anderson movie has been a fan of his. I like his storytelling, his characters. I just really never have anything complained about him. The way he does his work and the way he directs his movies. A lot of details around and the character development. So the movie takes place from freaking old city called Asteroid City. You got a um, kind of like a village, more like next to a crater. So they had a guy's name because it's right next to a mirror crater. Here they have some kind of contest with young kids showing off their science projects. And most of their science projects is just really outrageous and silly, cartoonish, but. It's, it was very really enjoyable to watch. But the most of the story is mostly focused on a man whose wife just died three weeks uh, before the whole story starts, and he has to tell his kids three weeks. And he put the ashes of his dead wife uh, in a tumbleware. And he's flying and admits that, hey, your mom's dead. <laughs> so during the competition, uh, the alien comes down, takes the meteor from the crater, and people are like stunned to watch this because, my God, aliens are real. And alien just comes up and takes the meteor and then flies away. Because of them, the government posts them in a quarantine around Meteor City. It's kind of funny how each person kind of deals with it. How each person deals with being quarantined. And of a little romance, all this stuff. And then the kids have their own very bad aliens. So the beginning of the movie, you get to note that this is a play. They talk about a little bit the author who wrote the play and explain none of the stuff is real. It's kind of like a yeah, Twilight Zone or something, you know, a narrator explaining things is happening. Also, you get to look at the background, what's happening around the play. And for this movie, you gotta really pay attention to the dialogue. There's a lot of talking. And there's like five or six stories or more going on at the same time. And the, the sitting of it, the photography, the directing, the, the screenwriting is perfect for this movie. I think a lot of people may not understand the movie because it's not that much action packed in this. Because, well, you know, this PG 13 movie, there's a lot of dialect talking, kind of like Emerson's personality into this. I think he got a lot of ideas from this movie during the 2020 epidemic. How we're being sheltered out, the, we kind of leave the house and say, Oh, yeah, everything's okay, come out. And then next day, oh, no, no, go back in. So that was kind of like where he got most the idea of this movie, my opinion. I think you enjoyed this movie. It's, if you're a big Anderson fan, you like this movie. I think a lot of people, is not much of his fan and how he does things, will not like this movie or understand the pod line. And but it's a very really unique movie. I like directors that take chances. I think he did a really big chance of doing something totally different from his usual movies. And that's why I say I, I enjoy it. I like the character development, the plot, the, the beautiful settings, the really bright, you know, widescreen. And everything is just great about this movie. I can't really say anything more about this, but it takes a while to realize what is going on and a lot of people don't want to sing i think they just want to watch you know the fast of fury part 50 or something you know but it's interesting storytelling it's all this just a unique way of you know telling a story so that's yeah i think go out there you know like and subscribe and do better next time please watch